Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester. Panhandle Outdoors, your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors. I'm Winston Chester. I'm glad you're here on this Friday morning. We're going to wrap up the week in style, bringing you a great show from Panhandle Outdoors. And let's get started with our weather. Brought to us by Haney Tactical Center at 767-5500. It's going to be a high today of 86. It's really not going to be that hot. It's just going to be real humid. Low tonight, 74. And water temperature now has jumped up to 85 degrees. Take a look at our river readings. The Appalachian of Bluntstown, uh, no surprise right here, we're still at a point six. Not getting much activity. Not much fishing on the upper end of that. But at Choctahatchee at Caribou, a little bit of rain we've had this week is it's showing off. Uh, it's on the rise right there, about a 1.4 this morning. It's going to stay that way for today, but uh, get on up for the weekend around uh, two foot by Saturday night. So good, uh, good little uh, motion, a little bit of uh, rise on the river over in Ebro. Now the uh, we're looking at our tides. High tide today is 11:30, right in the middle of the day. 11:30 this morning will be the high tide, and low tide at 9:36 tonight. Okay, so be aware of that. That takes care of our weather. And, you know, when we do this weather, this is, you know, for each day and all, but the tide, how, how it moves back and forth and all, and, and we're going to do the moon phases next week. But uh, all this, all these little things are so important for the outdoors, and river readings and all, that's why we, we don't really focus a lot on, on frontal systems and all kind of things coming in and all, or, because usually the, uh, a lot of people don't get those correct anyway. But, we'll, you know, the, the uh, tidal movement and, and the river flow is what's important to us. So we'll take our first break anyway, and we'll be right back. Your vision is precious. If an emergency arises, you don't want to be sitting in a hospital waiting room. Accidents and injuries can happen outside of your workday. That's why our team of physicians provide emergency eye care to our patients anytime, day or night. You can count on your local experts in eye care to be there for you whenever you need us. The Eye Center of North Florida. Nine doctors, one vision. join the Panhandle Outdoors team. Beat the rush and stock up on our team shirts and hats in a wide variety of colors and sizes. For your convenience, we offer a Panhandle Outdoors shop at panhandleoutdoors.net. Simply visit our website and click shop. You can also check out our selection at Sun Jammers Water Sports on Panama City Beach. Come join the Panhandle Outdoors team. At Panhandle Educators, we offer full-service banking. We're five-star rated. A safe place for your money. Find us anytime, anywhere. Or come see us on Highway 77 north of the mall. On the east side, across from Rutherford High School. Come see us at the beach on R. Jackson Boulevard. We're here in Southport on Highway 77. Live or work in Bay, Holmes, Jackson, or Washington County? You can be a member. Join, Join us. We'll take care, care of you. you. We are so lucky to live in North Florida. We have some of the best fresh and saltwater fishing in the world. My biggest problem is not catching fish, but trying to decide what kind of fish I want to catch. No matter what I'm after, I always stop at Sun Jammers Water Sports first. They have just what I need, rods and reels, line, tackle, and most important, fly bait. Yes, sir, we sure are lucky. Ah, right, welcome back. Let's first talk about scallops now. I know uh, we uh, most people aren't finding a lot of scallops. They're finding a few like me. But now I've seen I've seen them now. I've heard of this and that. But I've seen some folks with with some nice uh, nice uh, mess of scallops, uh, good size scallops and uh, and a decent quantity. So they're out there. But you're just going to look around and and uh, some. I've heard some stories of other people getting them, but I've actually seen some folks uh, with some nice scallops uh, over the last couple of days. So. Be aware there are some out there, but you're going to have to look a bit longer than you did last year. I'm telling you, you know, last year we all about just about got spoiled. All right, let's go to a nice picture here sent to us by Marla Clark Denneke. Marla, uh, Marla's two boys here. This is, uh, this is Chase and Clark Hutchison on an 18-pound catfish. Now, don't you love that picture out there? That's what you do in the summertime, folks. Those kids get out there and catch a big old catfish like that. Good job, uh, Chase and Clark. You know, uh, I would... I spent four years in, in Gainesville when I was going to school down there. And of course, when you go to college, you always try to 
do outdoor stuff. And then some of the guys would always find the creeks and the little ponds out there. Some really good Gainesville is a really neat area as far as uh, that, that kind of stuff and all. And but I, and it, so anytime when something happens in Gainesville, that sort of perks me up on perks my ears up. I want to find out details. So there was a gator attack there, no real gator attack there uh, uh, recently, and I read up on the details and. A uh, 51-year-old Gainesville man was bitten by a 9-foot, 7-inch gator, and he was out swimming in the creek. Not, I mean, real close to town, he's swimming in the creek, and uh, and all of a sudden, this gator latched onto him. Now, bit him on his right shoulder, his left forearm. So you know, he must have been like this, or, you know, and also on the back. So he might have saw the gator coming and put his arm up like that, and the gator clamped down on him. He screamed out for help. Well, listen to this. There was two homeless guys on the creek bank and they they saw they saw what happened heard him holler and went running over there and one of the guys picked up a, a concrete block and took and uh, jumped out in the water and threw the concrete block and hit the gator in the head uh, now that would have been a great video right there hit the gator in the head the gator let go of him and uh, the guy uh, was of course bleeding profusely and he got him ashore one of the homeless guys called 911 I don't know how homeless guys had a cell phone but he called 911 and he got help out there, took the guy to Shands, and he ended up okay, a lot of stitches and all. But he, I wanted to bring that up because you just never know. Uh, if you're out there swimming in a creek, a natural creek and all, where the, where the gators are, uh, you, could be, you could be in trouble. So that, that, I thought that was not humorous, but I thought that was very informative. The guy, you know, it happened to be a block, a big concrete block on the edge of the creek, <laughs> and also the guy had a cell phone, and it happened, they were happened to be close. The robber saved his life, really. Now, let's jump into uh, uh, hunting, and I want to bring this up. Uh, St. Vincent Island, this hunt. I talk a lot about St. Vincent Island. I've, I've been there and hunted it and camped it before. Just a really special place right at 12,000 acres that just completely undeveloped and, and all. And they have a couple of hunts a year. And the first hunt now is going to be on November the 15th through 17th. That'll be on archery only, no crossbow, no crossbow, archery only, November 15th and 17th. But the second one, now that's going to be uh, January 24th and 20, 24th through 26th. There's like a four-day weekend. You go over there and camp, or you can ride back and forth on a boat. And that's going to be for muzzle loaders and crossbows. And they're only going to give out 250 permits for each each hunt. Now I can promise you there'll be guys across America from you know from out west and up north and all are going to be applying for these permits uh, and plus locals and all. And they're going to be. And here's how you get them. You go to myfwc.com, go to the little license, and click on it, and it'll take you into what's called a limited entry quota hunt. And they're going to go on sale. They're $25. They're going to go on sale at 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time on July 12th. And I can promise you they'll by 12 o'clock they'll be sold out or uh, they'll just be filled up. So that's going to be, if you go and put it in the calendar, July 12th, uh, you got to click on there and you got to punch in and uh, and it's twenty-five dollars. So be prepared to you know do all the computer stuff, and there'll be people jumping on it. Open up at ten o'clock uh, on that morning there. Okay. And speaking of hunting and all, I always think about St. Vincent when I first hunted. Uh, they they wanted they had one hunt in history of the place where they used modern weapons, and we could take shotguns over there. I was able to go on that, and they did it to get rid of the hogs. Hogs just were overrunning the place, and and boy, they folks went over there. And we just, they wiped them out. I uh, I passed up some shots on some. Uh, some I didn't really desire, but a lot of people got the hogs off. But also, they only did it one time because there were some uh, goofballs coming there, a couple of rattlesnakes they shot and all. That's a, a National Wildlife Preserve. You don't shoot rattlesnakes and all. And, and they had rattlesnakes hanging from the trees and all. It, I wish I had a video of some of that stuff, but they only did it one time. That, that was the reason right there. So uh, so anyway, be aware. If you want to do, do, do that a hunt, uh, go ahead and check it out. Now, uh, next week, uh, uh, well, tomorrow now, tomorrow I've got, I'm excited about it. I've got a trip lined up on a similar win with Billy Archer, with the Guff Power Boys, Lawrence Sledge tri gets that uh, trip together every year, and I, I really enjoy it. And, of course, we're in that little window where we can catch snapper and grouper. So I'm really looking forward to it, and uh, it might be rough or whatever, but we're just going to do our best to catch a lot of fish. I'll have that video next week, and got all kind of good videos for you next week. I'm going to have a segment on, on panhandle heritage. That's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. We're going to do uh, have Bill McNeil on uh, showing how to, how he makes cast nets, one of our uh, almost lost art of making cast nets. Also, we'll have a segment on on, on dove field, how to plant. We're going to be out there planting our, our food plot with the uh, dove field and show you how we do that and all. And, and it's just a wide variety of things next week, so.
be sure to be watching it. So uh, let's go ahead and take our break now, Jeff, and we'll be right back. Panama City Beach is known as one of the top dive destinations in Florida. Divers Den offers daily dive charters that can accommodate up to 13 divers. Our boat captain is U.S. Coast Guard certified and a paddy dive instructor. We have trained professionals who offer a variety of scuba certifications. Come see us at our two locations on Thomas Drive and Tima Parkway. When you're looking for sales, parts, and service for your outboard, all in one location, you're looking for BJ's Marine. You're authorized to Hatsu and Nissan dealer. BJ's Marine does it all. They have outboard parts and a service center and used motor sales, too. To Hatsu, reliable, dependable, fuel efficient, and lightweight. To Hatsu Outboards, technology for the next generation. BJ's Marine, 1317 Transmitter Road, since 1991. Come join the Panhandle Outdoors team. Beat the rush and stock up on our team shirts and hats in a wide variety of colors and sizes. For your convenience, we offer a Panhandle Outdoors shop at panhandleoutdoors.net. Simply visit our website and click shop. You can also check out our selection at Sun Jammers Water Sports on Panama City Beach. Come join the Panhandle Outdoors team. When you stop by Blue Water Outriggers, you will find everything for your outdoor adventure. Stock up on all your favorite brands and shop for some of the latest outdoor gear and accessories. You can also shop online and have your orders delivered straight to your home. Our flagship store is nestled right off the Highway 98 in the Port City Shopping Center, just steps away from the Port St. John Marina. You will love our selection, our prices, and our friendly service. Glad you were with us this morning. You know, summertime, vacation time. That's what we're thinking about uh, every, every summer and all, taking some kind of vacation, and we sort of in the midst of hours. And we have some basic rules. Go down to the place I have down there, and here, here's the vacation rules written down on a, on a piece of uh, a big old board over there above the kitchen door. Here's what we do. You got to rest. It's required. These rules, are, you rest, relax, you read, you recreate. In other words, you play. You just rejuvenate mentally and physically. Reflect back on your year, rejoice, and be thankful to having that time together and just get your whole body revived and just renew your spirits and all. This is the, the nine R's of the Chester vacation rules. And I've got my grandkids, they about have them memorized now. We all try to do that. And I want you to do that on your vacation. You know, you might have a three, a little three or four day vacation, but a vacation is a vacation. It might be a week or two, but you just do those things. That, that's what they're for. And you really, we all need that time off, okay? Now, I wanted to. We we're talking about scallops and all, and this is interesting. I, I want to show it to you again. Now, we talked about a St. Joe and a St. Andrew Bay scallop count. But, you know, my buddies down there in the, on the eastern viewing area, they around Dog Island and Carabell and back toward Lenart Village, they have scallop down there. And I, I didn't really pay much attention to it. I started looking at this chart last night. And if you look, I got it circled over there. That, that's the St. Mark's Lenart Village account now, over on the far right at St. Joe Bay and, and uh, but check this out. Back in 2008, they had a phenomenal year. That's when they didn't start doing the countdown to 2008, and they had 170. But look how it dropped off to 8.4, okay, and then and then and then 5.4 in 2011, 19.4. But this year, they have the healthiest population of scallops anywhere in the Panhandle, anywhere actually on any of the uh, uh, any of the chart. Uh, St. Mark's Lenark Village at 68. Point three, and and that that is a, a good sign of a healthy bay. And, uh, that if you know where the area it is, it's uh, before you get in Carabell, behind Dog Island and the grass flats in front of uh, Lenark Village. And I, I'll show you a map if you're interested in it later. You want to email me and ask me that. But it's uh, there's a good good scallop down there. So now uh, I just wanted to go ahead and bring. I thought it interesting having four. They did it four year cycle, and it's just opposite of the St. Joe. So what you got to do is just figure out these cycles and go and go to these places, which some I know Bill and some of those other boys do that. Okay, uh, I was going to talk about. It. I'm going to run out of time. But I'm not careful. We're going to do a tarpon dock seafood giveaway. Then I got a video to show you. So let's go ahead. While we got uh, a minute, this is from tarpon dock seafood. Every Friday we like to give away a, some kind of seafood. Uh, lately it's been a red snapper and a $25 gift certificate. So the first one we're going to draw out will be a red snapper. A red snapper. 
All right, and the winner of the red snapper is Wilt Jones. Okay, Wilt Jones. Uh, give me a call to confirm that so I can mark you off. Wilt Jones wins the red snapper, and the winner is go way down here on the bottom. And you can enter this any time of the year now. The winner of the $25 gift certificate is Bill Barlow. Bill Barlow, one of our loyal viewers. Bill Barlow, $25 sharp and duck. I know you'll enjoy that, okay? Now, we'll, uh, we're going to get ready for this video. Uh, you know, July 4th, that storm came up, and uh, a lot of people out on the bay, and, and I, of course, I don't go on the, on the 4th, I tell you that, but a lot of people sort of come. They come rushing in, so I took the camera, and, and uh, Chip and, and my granddaughter Maddie, we just ran down on the boat ramp and see everybody coming in, and, and, uh, and it was lightning and all. I knew everybody was hustling off the bay because it was, the weather was getting bad. So uh, that's, this is what you do when you don't have a chance to go scalping. All you, uh, you go down the boat ramp and try to get some entertainment. So let's watch this little four-minute video. And then we're going to come back with our famous Friday fishing forecast. So we'll be right back. This is what we do on a rainy 4th of July. We go and we look at the boat ramps and not through the campground. So... That wind now, Maddie, that's coming off that storm. <laughs> that wet dog. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, we're at the St. Joe boat ramp. It's July 4th, and a big storm has come up. You look over my shoulder, see this big storm lightning and all. And the major thing is all these boaters have been just coming and have been pouring in right here at the state park, one after another, trying to get in. And which smart thing to do get out of that weather. Now we're at the campground for the St. Joe uh, State Park and we're seeing people camping and have their boats out and some people are roughing it and some people are going, it's time to relax. You don't have to have that car, you can't pull out. Beachy. 
pop-up tent right there and as well as the some Get in the back. On the water or under the water, success starts at C&G Sporting Goods. C&G specializes in fresh and saltwater fishing tackle, floundering supplies, spare fishing equipment, and much, much more. C&G also has licenses, maps, and expert advice on where to go. For over 59 years, C&G Sporting Goods has been the headquarters for the outdoors man. Fishing, hunting, camping, guns, and ammo. They've got it all. C&G, over the experts, downtown Panama City. Sunrise to sunset. A walk through nature takes you on a journey of Florida's Emerald Coast. You'll encounter the wildlife, birds, lighthouses, indigenous to the beautiful land and seascapes of Florida. Set to the sounds of nature and enhanced with easy listening music. Only $14.95 plus $4.95 shipping and handling. NatureWalkDVD.com or send check or money order to the address on the screen. A walk through nature. Visually stunning. My name's Captain Rick Corley. I'm a SAMS accredited Marine Surveyor, NAM certified Marine Surveyor, and I am a certified Marine Investigator. Been surveying since 1969. Was taught by my father, who is the oldest, longest practicing Marine Surveyor in the world. We do all types of survey, commercial or pleasure, steel, aluminum, fiberglass, wood, makes no difference. Give us a call at 850-527-5287. Or visit us online. We'd appreciate your business. Are you still waiting to do something with your IRA, 401k, annuities, or other investments? My dad has an economics degree from Vanderbilt University, and he helped me with my homework. A lot of people call themselves financial planners, but my dad passed a board exam to be a certified financial planner. He's very easy to talk to, and he spends a lot of time with me. To my existing clients, thank you for your friendship and loyalty through these uncertain times, and to everyone else, don't wait until it's too late. Call me today and let's see if I can help. All right, welcome back. Glad you're with us this morning. Let's take a look first at our Express Rain Fishing Game Forecast for today. We're looking at our times at this morning from 3.01 to 5.01 a.m. But this afternoon, we're looking at 3.26 to 5.26. That's some crucial times right there because really you can... Uh, Hit those both, uh, in, uh, actually are backing up a little bit from the previous chart, they're backing up. And uh, that's a good time this afternoon, 301 to, I mean from 326, 526. That's brought to us by Express Lane, American owned, American operated. Now, let's get started with our famous Friday fishing forecast brought to us by Tarpon Dock Seafood. I hear so many good things about Tarpon Dock Seafood. I had somebody tell me the other day what a clean seafood market that was when they walked in. They'd never been there. And they walked in there, it's all on the show, and it's just good to get over how clean it was, how nice it was. But uh, they're good sponsors, and, and we appreciate that. So let's get started on the fishing now. We're going to start down on the east end, as always, on Carabelle area, fishing off shore there. Got a good report. Tony Bass emailed me last night. He'd gotten an uh, opportunity to go fishing there the last couple of days, and he went out red snapper fishing and caught, some, caught a bunch of red snapper, but uh, didn't catch any really big ones. But what he did catch, his boat caught six, they landed six cobia, which is uh, very unusual to land that many. But they were, they were, you know, they were just in that area, and those cobia were hitting. They had a great time. The so cobia fishing was really good. And uh, Miller uh, Collins, we were talking about uh, inshore fishing, had been really good with the redfish uh, this past uh, week and all. After I go to St. Joe, talked to Captain Bla Blair Morgan, uh, talked to him a couple times this week, and he went out uh, Grouper fishing would open up, and the water's rough. Of course, they limit it out. Blair's a really good grouper fisherman. They limit it out on some nice grouper, but it's been water, you know, it's been just rough weather out there. Uh, bay fishing has been slowed a little bit by a lot of scallopers out there, especially in the southern end of the bay, uh, in St. Joe Bay. But the actual, uh, uh, some nice redfish were caught around the point there, and also some uh, nice trout fishing has been going on. I talked to guys at Blue Water, and there have been some nice trout brought in there. Uh, 
you know, using a live bait. Now, to catch them on live bait, this time of year, the, they're, they're really jumping on a live bait, so be aware of that. But if you go use shrimp now, be aware of also the, they're going to chew, chew up the shrimp, the chopas and all will. Captain Mitch Coburn sent a good report in from Mexico Beach. Uh, Mitch was talking about how the water was still a little murky uh, from the storm we had, you know, uh, when Debbie came through, uh, the early part of the week, it was still murky. But they've caught some nice, nice grouper, nice snapper. I think I showed this picture. I'll show him again. 18 pound, uh, this snapper here, uh, was caught on Mitch Coleman's boat right here. This is a, this was a, a 23 pound snapper. In about 90, uh, the snapper, he said, has gone deeper. In about 90 to 120 foot, here's another nice grouper they caught. But they're fishing in 90 to 120 foot of water and they're uh, holding the structure. They caught that big old red snapper on a, on a whole squid. You know, a lot of times we talk about bait, uh, about using small pieces. Sometimes those big old fish will take a big old bait. It's as simple as that. Uh, here in Panama City, group of season got off uh, to a good start. A lot of folks sent in some pictures and got good reports on different sizes of groupers. Uh, a lot of people living out on snapper and grouper. It's been a good report off the pier. Taught them early part of the week. They were catching kings and Spanish. That's the hot items off Panama City Beach Pier, kings and Spanish. Bay fishing was a little lethargic in areas, but there were some nice, uh, nice trout being caught around Burnt Mill Creek. And remember this about trout now. Uh, uh, fish are a lot like, like humans, and when it gets hot, we're going to look for the shade, and, and fish are going to do the same thing. They're going to go deeper. They're holding about 6 or 10 foot of water. I talked to a lot of guys, and, and they're catching them in that 6 to 10 foot of water. They're going a little deeper and staying a little bit cooler. Uh, they, they don't like this hot, hot water either. So uh, be aware of that when, when you're fishing for trout. And, and redfish, they're just jumping around in schools. They're moving around from one point to another point, and they can be spooky at times. But uh, uh, flounder, flounder fishing has really uh, just been steady. Uh, it, it, it's been the giggers are doing good, and the fishermen are doing good. And they, I think you saw the one I got in the video uh, yesterday. Uh, they're, they'll lay up. It, it's so that was so that was a picture perfect. How those flounder. You have grass all around them, but they'll get in like a little channel, usually like a little uh, boat where a boat motor's cut through that grass, and they love laying right there, and they'll just ambush. Remember, they don't go swimming around looking for things. They just lay there, and they'll ambush the bait. That's why you sort of, when you're fishing for flounder, you, you can't go boom real fast. You want to fish slow for flounder. And, uh, and when they see it, they're going to just go up at it and just reach out and grab it. So uh, flounder fishing has been steady. It's been one of our most steady fisheries so far this summer. So, uh, uh, and freshwater river is getting back right, and, and uh, freshwater has been, been good on reports I've gotten of some nice shell cracker. Uh, we're going to run out of time. Another week is in, is in the uh, barn, and we, we appreciate the, uh, the viewership we have. Appreciate you, you know, supporting our sponsors. And, and most importantly, though, you just enjoy the great outdoors. You get out there with your family and friends and just enjoy it. And also, sometime today, you do something good for somebody. You have a great weekend, and God bless. Thanks for joining us for Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester. Panhandle Outdoors features hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors. You're watching WPGX Fox 28, bringing entertainment home.